everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This week, we've got Night of the Living Dead, Zombicide. We're going to finish it up. Uh, last week, we did the original six from the black and white movie. This time, we're doing all of the zombies black and white. It, it, but we're not going to get as involved as we did in the last video. This is just going to be a quick uh, two-color spray and then a wash and then move on. Because this video is more about the the original six in the colorized version of the movie what they took the black and white and they went and made it color and it was amazing at the time but now it, it just looks bad and, and that that that's how i'm gonna paint these one the, these guys i'm gonna use some really watered down colors and i'm gonna paint it just kind of kind of have i'm not gonna worry about details they're gonna look like the cards they're, they're gonna they're, they're gonna resemble the movie it's gonna be great. I'm looking forward to this, guys. Uh, we're gonna finish this up, and then we got a bunch of other stuff to get to. So, looking forward to getting this. Uh, this is a sponsored video from Autos Video Games and more. Uh, go down and check him out. He's got everything you need, man. Everything from Warhammer to Magic. Go check him out. Tell him I sent you. Anyway, guys, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in there. So far, we've done. Uh, we did a black uh, primer, um, as we always do. I used uh, a Green Stuff World uh, matte surface primer. You can use any primer you want. Just make it black, and then I took straight ivory, Pro Curl ivory, or any ivory you would like, or even you know a bright gray. You just want a zenithal over the top, and then if it's like like her gown here is white, and like this guy's skin is white. Um, I, I take that back. Let me let me let me, re, 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 let me rewind there. Okay, so her gown is 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 white, right? In, in in real life, or maybe it's a light blue, or whatever it may be, but it's going to be white. So we've got to give it a little color. Now, and we just lightly do that. And now we're going to come back with white, uh, uh, white ivory, not ivory, white white ink, and come back on the high areas to make that white pop. And then we're going to do a quick wash, kind of like we did the ones before last week. Uh, but these are just going to be a little quicker, a little more, a little more simple, actually. I mean, you could do the other ones just like this as well. But uh, I did a few extra steps on the other ones, and on these guys, I'm actually cutting a couple corners. But this is uh, a black primer with a ivory and kind of a gray mix. Whoop. Gray mix. All right, and give it a zenithal. The next step, white ink. Okay, we've got all of it down. We've got the black primer. We've got the ivory with a little bit of gray uh, of the black mixed in with the, the ivory to give it a little bit of gray tone. And then we did basic ivory, right? And then we came back with white ink to do some touch-ups. Just on the high areas on the skin. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do a, a, just a general black wash on these guys, just real simple. We're not gonna get too involved because we still have to get to the colored version. So these guys 
are just what I did is I picked one of each uh, of the models and, and I did them on camera kind of and then I did all of the other ones off to the side so what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and finish these up with the white ink and then we'll get on to the uh, the wash Okay, we've got the wash down now. These guys are really popping. You can see it really stand out. The wash is still a little bit wet, but his suit is actually black. So I went a little heavy with the wash. Now what I did when I went careful here, when it keeps something white, see here we go. This is real black and white. Isn't that nice? I just stayed in the crevices. You know, it's not perfect, but you know, it looks really good. It's really, really contrasty. So we got them all where we want them. This is exactly where we want them. What I would do now is just give them a quick base and then do a matte varnish over the top of these guys. Let's take a look at the rest here real quick. Um, whoops. There we go. Brick guy. He's got a nice little white tie. Uh, let's go. Here we go. Well, I don't know. Creepy guy with leather jacket. Uh, scared guy in his suit. Here we go. She's uh, got a, a table leg or something. Crazy zombie. What else? And then we got a couple. Looks like uh, nursing home or hospital patients here. Got a bunch of each of these. I think six of each of them. Um, so I did one of each. You know, the wash looks really nice. After I did that, uh, that white ink, it really pops now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them off camera over here. And then I still have to do the color versions of the main characters. There's Ben. He's got a shotgun. Here's, uh, I think it's uh, Helen with her katanas, and then so on and so forth. And, and we're going to get to those right now. So uh, I'm going to do these off camera, and then we're going to go probably right in to the, uh, the main characters. And they're going to be color. They're going to be some faded colors. So stay tuned. I had something of a disappointment with my faded and I don't believe a lot of things that the Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to water down all of my paints to make it, to kind of mimic that, that crappy colorization back in the day when they took a black and white and they colorized it and it was just, just horrible colors. That's kind of what I'm doing here. I'm just weed, leaving it real watered down to give it come, th let it come through. And then I'll highlight it, but we'll still get that fun effect. So that's what I'm going to do with all of the paint. And uh, anyway, starting with the skin first. painted blue I used this as a shade and I actually used this on the blue jeans on one of the gals and one of the guys I just straight uh, used this straight on and made it it, it really works for blue jeans when it's over a, a black a zenithal or a black and white zenithal it works really terrific so that's what I did here I'll take let's take a look actually slide down boom look at that goes on perfect all right
Well, there you have it, guys. Night of the Living Dead, black and white zombies. Real quick, real simple. All we did was we did a black uh, a black uh, primer, and we did a, a gray, I think it was an ivory, an ivory uh, zenithal, and then we, we came back with the plain ink, and then we did that, and we spot sprayed a bunch of stuff. And then the wash, black wash, real simple kept it real easy so you can just get through them so if you have the game and you need to paint some zombies black and white there you go real quick and simple also the colorized versions turned out really well I, I was kind of curious I, I really painted bad I just didn't worry about the details and just kind of slap the paint on you know just like the colorized version it's just it's okay <laughs> but anyway and, and they look like the cards so they match the game really great stuff anyway guys stay tuned we got a lot of stuff coming up um, we've got uh, what do we have? We got Deep Rock coming up. We've got a ton of Marvel zombies. We've got to get done. Uh, Crisis Protocol, Masters of the Universe. Man, stay tuned. We got a lot of stuff. A lot of live gaming coming down the pike too. So stay tuned, guys. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you next week.